Hello guys, welcome to Life in the Woods. This is going to be my new main solo Let's Play series on the channel, and it's also the name of the mod pack that we're playing here, which I actually created. This is my secret project that I've been working on, uh, a labor of love, for the last while, and I've been, I know I've been teasing a lot of people on Twitter about it, but finally, it's being released to the public. I've also released a trailer and the download link is down there in the description if you want to try it out for yourself, if you want to just know more about the mod pack. But I'll be let's playing the mod pack in this series, and it's just everything that I want in Minecraft put together. It's, it's all about exploration, foraging, adventure, natural beauty, surviving, handcrafting, like just it's, it's more... I don't want to say it's more real, but it's just it's more in-depth. It's more in-depth Minecraft, basically. It's, it's more... There's more details. There's more handcrafting. There's more foods. There's more places to explore. It's just going to be a great adventure, and I really hope you guys enjoy this journey with me. So, we really need to get moving here. I need to make some sort of safe place for the night and start looking for food. As you can see, there's already a, a variety of biomes and, and types of trees that we don't recognize, but we're mostly concerned with finding somewhere safe because the night is going to be scary and finding something to eat. Looks like we've got something here. This is rutabaga. Alright, well, we've got something to nibble on, but I am playing the harder version of this mod pack which makes it so that food and resource management is incredibly, incredibly important. So we're going to definitely want to get uh, a more stable food source as soon as we can. I'm not going to worry about trying to find where I'm going to live permanently yet. We're probably just going to make some sort of basic kind of, um, basic kind of hut or cabin here. What is this? flat mushroom. I'm not sure if I can eat that, but we'll see. Yeah, we're gonna make some sort of basic dwelling just for now. Get some a good food supply going. Uh, and then then we'll start doing a bit more adventuring, but like I say, food and resource management is incredibly important. And uh, I could very easily starve to death the way things are right now, so I just need to Pick out a spot, probably just over here. Cut down a couple trees and really just get something going here. I know this is uh this is the regular old punch wood, not too not too different than basic Minecraft, but I guess the farther we'll get into it, the more you'll see kind of the nuances and some of the additions that I have here. I'm I'm really excited to see what you guys do with the mod pack now that it's publicly released. I can't wait to see what you guys think. I know what I think. I'm freaking excited. I'm having so much fun already. I've been trying not to like get too like I mean I've, I've done a lot of work just balancing out and stuff like that but I'm, I've tried not to get too in-depth on like the details so that it was still gonna be um, a surprise for me too so I can still enjoy it while I play it so kind of a hard balance to strike making it so that the mod pack itself is well, balanced, <laughs> but at the same time, um, you know, trying to trying to keep it at least a few secrets for myself so that I can explore it naturally. But let's get this going here. Got a bit of wood. Need some basic tools and just a really, really basic kind of hut or cabin is all we really need. Something to keep us safe from the zombies at night. Although speaking of zombies, I do need to get a bunch of zombie flesh because I have, in the mod pack, I have um, one that adds recipes so that you can use zombie flesh instead of leather. Um, it's not, it's not just like, it's not cheesy. It's not like too easy. Oh, apple, good. It's, it's, I think it's pretty balanced, but I'm going to need to get some zombie flesh uh, because I will be playing this as a vegan, or at least a vegetarian, let's play. Maybe not vegan, exactly. I will be using some animal byproducts, but I won't be killing passive mobs or anything like that. So I'm trying to see if there's any 
Oh, there's uh, some, what is this, peaches? No, they're not ready yet. I'm trying to see if I could find some exposed stone, but I don't see anything quite yet. So I'm going to have to just dig down. I'm not a big fan of digging out a hole in the middle of nowhere, but I'd rather get some stone now. Um, actually, I should probably just get one, one or two more trees. Build that, build that hut, because that, that, that sun is going down real quick. Oh, I should have made an axe. I am all kinds of, uh, I'm panicking because I know. I know, I don't want to die. It's been a while since I've done, like, just a regular survival Let's Play series, and I'm really stoked. Even though this is a previous version of Minecraft, so that it doesn't actually have some of the newest additions. But I think with the number of mods in here, I won't be... I won't miss them, basically. I'll have plenty to keep me busy. I think we'll worry about stone after we get the wood. We'll get the wood, get the basic house up. Just something to survive the night in. And then if we don't have time today, we will do any more of that kind of, um, oh man, see, look at that. That's not my, my that's not very much health. I'm going to die of hunger. Okay. Let's just make a hut for us to live in. See if we can get any seeds in here. So far, not so much. There's some seaweed, I think. What is that? Yeah, seaweed. Don't know what it's doing on land, but I guess you can get seaweed on land. Specifically when it just kind of wanders its way up with the uh, with the tide or some such. I do have some seaweed. I think I can eat that, but I don't know how, if I need to add it to like a salad or something. This is what I need the leather for, because, yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be real basic guys. Just a little hut. Keep me alive. Uh, but there, there is a book I can make. It's a crafting guide. I think I'm going to put the door on this side instead. It's a crafting guide, but I need leather to make it. So I need to kill a bunch of zombies, basically. Okay, and I do have, yeah, I've got a bunch more wood, so we're good. If nothing else, we should be able to survive the night. Um, should survive from zombies anyways. I don't know about hunger. Hunger is looking pretty dire. Alright, this is, this is the most basic of basic here. We're not... Oh well, and here comes the darkness. Ah! That's not what I wanted. I don't even have anything to burn. I don't have a torch. I might just have to cower in this hole until daytime comes. Uh, I really don't like this. Do I have anything? Oh yeah, so I got seaweed. Uh, I don't know if I can eat the mushrooms. We got seaweed and rutabagas, and that might be everything we have to eat for tonight. So I think I'm gonna just stay in here for the night. I'm gonna dig my way down. I know I have a crafting bench outside. I should probably just. Oh, why do I do these things to myself? Are we gonna grab this crafting bench out here? And we're gonna hide in our hut. And we're gonna dig down and see if we can get. Whew, scary noises. We're gonna dig down, see if we can get some coal. And I'll probably join you in the morning because I doubt anything interesting will happen. All right, so the sun is finally coming up. The light, the sky is lighting up, and I've run out of food. I dug down just a little bit. I heard a cave, but I didn't dare go in there without any food. Um, and I was I was really running low at that point. I found a little bit of salt, uh, but I haven't. I don't know any recipes to use it in yet. And I did upgrade to all stone equipment. I don't have enough wood for a door yet, though. So that's one of the things I want to do today, but first things first is food. I really need food. This is not for food, but I think I, I think I can make a bed using cattails. I'm not sure though. So I'm gonna, oh, maybe it's that kind. I think I use this kind. Cattail. Hmm. We'll have to see. We have to do a lot of experimenting. I can't 
get the uh, recipe book until I get enough zombie flesh, so gonna have to just go off of experimentation. I'm gonna go back over here though. Uh, is this that cattail kind? Yeah, I think that's this one. So I'll take that again. And this one. And this one, I believe. We'll see. Oh, there's some bamboo over there. Bamboo shoots. And some more rutabagas. And I think there's some more fruit trees over there. But we're gonna check this first. I don't think I can eat those flat mushrooms. Or at least um, not without preparing them. But let's see if any of this fruit is ready. Nope. Nope. It is indeed not ready yet. Uh, don't really... Oh, I think that's some seaweed? Is that seaweed? What are you doing way up here, huh? I'll eat you anyways. I'm freaking hungry. But yeah, most of the unprepared food only gives you like half of a haunch. Which really is not enough. It's really not enough. What else do we have here? Some rutabagas here, which I will definitely take. Yeah, give it to me. Give it to me! And there's some, what is this? Are these, oh, lava? I think this is river cane. Hmm, I'll take some of that. Probably grow some more over by my house. I don't think, I think in one of the mods I'm using, it makes it so that I can only use an iron, oh, no, an iron hoe or better. So I think I have to wait until I get iron before I can use a hoe to start my own farm. So basically, iron is incredibly important right now, and I really need it. What else do we have here? Trying not to get too far from the house, but... Oh, there's a skeleton over there. Let's not anger him. But I will take these strawberries. Even though, like I say, anything unprepared, unprepared food really doesn't do much for your health. I need to start finding out what all the recipes are and making some meals. That's what I need. Alright, let's go back this way. Got a few rutabagas. And... Oh, can we tempt him out? No, we don't, we're not desperate for his bone meal yet. We do want to grow things, but like I say, we need to have... We need to have a hoe. And to have a hoe, we need to have iron. So, oh, and I'm peckish. So there's, there's a few steps, basically, before I can get um, any kind of food source. Let's double check this, though. These look, they look so ready, but they're not. They're not ready. All right, we can go across the river here, though. Did we get any more wood yet? We need to get more wood, for sure. So let's go across the river here. Oh no, is this like, is this mud or something? I get kind of sucked in when I walk into it, so I think it's something like mud. Oh, more seaweed. Lots of seaweed. I think there's like a seaweed salad I can make. I think that's one. What is that? Star fruit? It looks like star fruit. Get some more rutabagas. I guess I'll just be living off rutabagas for now. Uh, I don't even think I can cook them. Is this bananas? It's a very strange assortment of trees around here. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I think I just need to get a bunch of wood and some iron. We need to find something more hardy that I can survive off of. Now, there's a variety of salads that can be made, but I don't know the recipes and I don't I don't want to look them up outside of the game. I'm gonna wait until I have the crafting guide. Oh my ugly little hut. So ugly. Don't worry. That that's not it's not how we're gonna continue. Let's try bamboo shoot. Yeah, half. What about strawberry? Yeah, just scarf some strawberries back. Not very filling, but it'll help me survive longer. More bamboo shoots. Oh, mushrooms. I know I can make good old mushroom soup, but I need to have a red mushroom first. Uh, oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, that one's poisonous. Oh, where Oh, no, I'm just still poisoned. Oh, I'm well fed though, apparently. So it's helping take care of my poison. More seaweed. Hmm. Yeah, you do have to watch out. There are not only helpful plants, but also harmful ones. So you can run into plants that have a poison effect or a thorn effect or something like that. But, like I say, I think it's pretty, it's pretty balanced. I'm really 
excited to play like this. I think this will be really fun. So let's try the cattails recipe out. Oh, and I need freaking wood. I need wood. I have an axe and thou, thou, an axe now, though. So we'll get some more wood before we get in there. Before it gets night again. I know it comes much faster than you always think it will. Maybe we'll get some apples too. Out of these trees we chop down. Definitely a lot more just kind of desperate uh, in the beginning here. Later on I'm going to be able to make just all kinds of crazy and interesting foods and um, really beautiful kind of house and stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. For now though, it's all about survival. I just need to survive. So I'll take whatever I can to get to that point. Let me hop. Oh, come on. How, how tall is this tree? Ah, apparently that tall. Oh my goodness! Okay, well, let's make some more of these. And hippity hop a little bit higher. Oh my goodness. I would not have cut this down if I had known how tall it was. I tried to just cut down the shorter trees. Ugh. Not only because it's easier for me, but also just because it's more honorable. I don't know, more... what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, I just feel like a jerk when I cut down the taller trees. Alright. It's okay though. I will be replanting plenty of trees as we move on. And all those kinds of things, so... I'll make up for it later. Oh! 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 Persimmon! Delicious! I do love me some persimmons. Oh, and strawberries. Stack to 16. I'm gonna have that persimmon. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh! Persimmon is more filling, too. Did I get a persimmon? Dying sapling, oak sapling. So far, no persimmon sapling. Maybe I should have kept that persimmon to plant it. Hmm. Oh! There's a persimmon! Okay, so we can try and plant that, hopefully. I do really, like, I really enjoy persimmons. Persimmons, pomegranates, and chestnuts. I love fall for those, for those things. Those are my favorite. Well, it's funny though, a lot of the stuff I like, some people think they're kind of bitter or just, I don't know, I feel like my tastes, my taste buds go towards sort of semi-bitter stuff. Alright, more saplings. I guess I could just plant some now, but I don't want to be too haphazard, I guess. Well, it can't hurt. It can't hurt to just drop down some more saplings all over the place, right? Make up for the ones we've cut down. And there. So hopefully we'll get a bunch more regrowth. How many cattails are we gonna need? Oh, I have all kinds of different types of cattails. Uh, I think it's that one over there that I want. I want the cattail. No, they look. These are all the same. Hmm. I don't even know anymore. Oh wait, I think that short one. What about this? Can I eat that? No. It didn't even come off. I don't think I can eat that. I'm literally just scrounging around looking for things to eat in the brush. This is my life. I actually do enjoy doing it in, in real life too though. Foraging. I'd like to learn a lot more about like foraging, also about like hunting for mushrooms and stuff like that. It's one of those things you have to be really, 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 really careful about and learn from somebody who knows what they're doing. You can't just go out into the wild and just start eating things because that could end really badly. But even just things like, I know you can make bread from like, what is it? Is it? This looks really good. Can I eat it? It's not, it's not done yet either. Oh, those olives. Those are olives. Interesting. But no, I, I know you can make bread from a lot of like strange seeds and stuff. They just require you have to run water over them and stuff to leach out some kind of um, uh, toxin. But like it's natural. It's not like 
it's basically it's a toxin that that the tree puts into those seeds so that um, creatures will pick up the seeds and then like spread them around but not like eat them all really fast and just like not spread the seeds basically the tree wants the seeds to be taken but it doesn't want them to all just be scarfed up it wants it wants to oh okay well we're getting to nighttime it wants it wants creatures to spread the seeds around so we're gonna make a door just all basic stuff for now just you wait is that I don't like it that way. I want it the other way. Only because I'm in such a small room. Alright, I still don't have anything for torches, but I can make some charcoal. Um, and I think I can burn my wooden tools to start. And that'll, that'll give me some light as well as some torches eventually. I have enough little morsels to keep me going through the night. And uh, let's see about... Oh, that's... One. Cattails. Can I do... Oh, brown dye. Can I do... What can I do? How can I make cattails... Nope, that's not it. Maybe if I just put it with wood? Does that do something? Nope, it's not that one. Hmm. Come into me. There we go. Now I have some charcoal. I can make some more charcoal that way. And make some torches that is not how you make torches make some torches excellent put that there all right doing a lot better now actually have some charcoal have means to make more charcoal have some torches have some food should be able to make it through the night no problem now our concern is mostly just about getting um some sort of small farm going with some renewable food sources and start getting some iron supplies. But I think I'm um, gonna cut it here for now. Give me some more time, get some basic stuff done. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. I know not much has happened. Ooh, there's a skeleton. I know not much has happened so far, really kind of in the beginning stages here, but I think you guys are really gonna enjoy where this series is going, so. Like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope you will join me next time for my life in the woods.